hello guys welcome to our channel once again so today we are going to chat about uh, uh, loading a json files to sql table in a tabular format using azure data factory so this can be done in, uh, in databricks also or in a data flow also mapping data flow but today we are going to talk more about the copy activity which is the simplest form of it and as you know json is a very widely accepted uh, file format because of its simplicity it's a uh, semi-structured data where it's it's more like a key value pair so let's before we jump into data factory we'll see a very basics of json's so we'll cover uh, two kinds of um, uh, json one is a simple and another is a nested json so simple json will be where a json has only attributes and the nested JSONs are the ones where you can have an arrays or another JSON as part of the um, JSON. So let's see first uh, what are the different types of uh, uh, with different data types JSON supports. So one is a string, another is number, and then third is object, fourth is array, fifth is boolean, and null. So these are the data type you can have in any of your json files so string and numbers they are fairly simple uh, you know that string has to be in a quote quote double quote inside double quote number can be either integer or float it can be anything an object so here is the example of uh, json objects so you can say another json can be embedded in the in the same json so that's also another type and when we say array uh, one of the attribute may have multiple values that is what is called json array and if you have a boolean in json it has to be either true or false and it can also contain nulls so these are all the supported data types okay so now this is a simple example of a simple json here you can see there are one two three three different attributes first one name attribute one attribute two and these are the values this is an example of simple json and the nested json here and if you see the nested json inside person you have an array each array, array will have one object json object now within the json object again within car you see another json is embedded so this is called a nested json so in this uh, module we will see how we can transform both different kinds of uh, json files into tabular form okay so let's jump to our uh, demo so what i have done is i have created two different json I, as i shown simple and nested one and it's been uploaded to my uh, adls okay, we'll read this as a source so what we have to do is in a, a pipeline you go you just take a copy activity define your json as a data set so what so I am assuming you are uh, familiar with creating a data set. If you are not, then, then what you can do here, you just say create data set. And first you have to select data lake because my file is stored in a data lake. I will select data lake gen 2. And then I will say here the JSON. So whichever file format you are dealing with in data set, you can select those. So these are all the supported ones by data factory okay so i'm not creating it that this way you can just create it and you can even parameterize it okay we'll not go to these details okay so what what i want to do is i want to send the file name i will use same data set in two different copy activity that is the reason we have parameterized it now what we'll do in source in this copy activity i'm passing simple.json which where i have a simple json stored so let's go and preview it now you can see this is the same example name one name attribute one attribute two simple one okay how we'll map it is in sync i'm sync is a simple azure sql uh, table data set where we can pass a table name where we are going to store it so if you go to mapping and you can clear and show you just say import a schema it will uh, automatically identify the schema of your json file and you can see here collections as rows and it has identified these are the attributes which are available and this said in my sql table also i have created the same name as columns name attribute one and attribute two 
so I can map it even if you have more number of columns in SQL table you can select it so it's a simple one here okay now let's see how we can map the complex one or the nested one now if you see nested ones here person now in the person when you say mapping you say name and age which is uh, again two attributes and then cars is an array right now cars So as, as we were talking about the cars, you can see name and model both. Here I'll like to show you um, the JSON which we have. Okay, so you can see name, age, and car. Cars is again another ob JSON object which has name and model. Model is an array. Right? So you can see the difference. Name it says string, but models it says array. Right? Now we'll try to map it say person name let's say person age now this one is a car name I will select car name and here I will select car model now the complexity here is if it's an array it cannot map it to a SQL column for that what Microsoft has given is map complex values to a string so if you uncheck this and run it it will throw an error it will say that this array cannot be mapped to this column so to handle this what we have to do is we need to say this map complex values to a string just save it and let's run oh, my tables are empty as of now we'll try to load those two JSONs so it's running we'll wait for half a minute so it's completed now let us go and see our table so this is example of a simple JSON where each column is uh, directly mapped here you see see you will notice this in this car model because it was an array and we said make this a string it has just concatenated everything and it has put it here so that's the difference here but we are able to actually map a car name directly to a tabular format which was actually a child node or the nested JSON file Thanks for watching our video and don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thanks.